good morning from Magic Kingdom. So we took the monorail over from Grand Floridian and we are greeted by an empty entrance. The only other people here appear to be from the monorail. So, so far, capacity's not too bad. Now I will also say that we are coming like two hours after opening. We didn't want to come with the early rush, but looks pretty easy to get in. We got in, that was super easy. It is different, so like when, we've, when we went to SeaWorld, you have to have your printed reservation and your pass. Here, your park pass is linked to your Magic Band. So we've tapped it, it has your entrance and your ticket all linked together, so went right in. Back. Thank you. Back. You guys have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So super easy to get in, um, and no finger scanning either. Now it looks like people are posing here. So I'm, yep, characters up there. So we already see our first character meet and greet, which is princesses up on the train station. <laughs> We got Rapunzel, Elena, Snow White, Belle, and Merida up on the train station greeting people. That's fun. And it looks like there's people kind of creating their own line to get up to the princess to take a photo. Or if you stand like off to the side, there's no one. So it's a pretty, pretty good spot for them to be able to spread out. It looks like City Hall's under refurbishment, which I think it was while the park closed. Yeah, but. but Overall, like Main Street doesn't look too bad. I'm excited. It's definitely not the normal volume you'd hear in Magic Kingdom. It looks like the first entrance into the Emporium is an exit only. And we saw that in Animal Kingdom where Discovery Trading, the closest door to the entrance was an exit. Oh, she's pink. <laughs> oh. Oh, she's pink all right. Let's get a closer look at the new castle. So right here, the like, thank you. The little like cutout for, of the important looks like that's the entrance. I don't know if that's the only entrance or not, but there are definitely cast members there with iPads so they can count how many people are in the store. And we saw at Animal Kingdom, they were like really on top of people coming in. And we were like standing by the cash register and I was waiting for Amanda to pay. And I guess like a family came in with like somebody they missed. And they were like, oh my god, we, we have like one one too many people in here, so they asked me to walk out. So they are very strict about the number count, which is good. But yeah, like the right in front of the castle does not look too crowded at all. I mean, it's not like it's no one, but there's more than enough room to walk around. The music just started, so it must be like a parade coming. Oh, there's Josh Tomorrow, the new president of Parks and Entertainment for Disney. So it's great to see him walking around. But I'm assuming there's gonna be like a flow with Mickey coming because of the music, but I don't see it yet. Okay, so it was really nice to return to Animal Kingdom, but I don't feel like it truly feels like we've returned to Disney until we're standing in front of the castle with Mickey and Pluto and it's hearing Josh Get Your tomorrow. Ears On and Josh tomorrow walking by. <laughs> what a greeting to the Magic Kingdom. So this is like the new character meet and greet. So this is kind of how they're doing it. Which I kind of feel like this is better than Animal Kingdom boats. <laughs> but the boats were really fun to see going around too. So I like how every park has like its own form of meet and greet. We got Pluto, Minnie, Mickey, Donald, and Daisy. And the new castle. That's fun. All right, so to give an idea of like, crowd level after the little character parade went through. Very, very quiet now. So now we can pretty much go wherever we want. I will say that the gold looks good in person and the blue doesn't look too purple right now. I've seen it looks pretty purple in certain lighting. There's definitely like a purple tint you could see. Oh, well, it's still paint by number. Where? Oh, it is. I didn't even notice. Yeah, so a lot of people are complaining. I think it's honestly hilarious and they haven't finished the castle yet. So like, it's no big deal but it kind of gives you like an idea of how they paint the castle. Cause they definitely painted the majority of it during the closure. We hear a parade coming again <laughs> as well. They hear them playing following the leader. But um, this gives a look, so they're repainting the stones darker, the bricks darker. So here in the shade, it's already been painted darker, but then over here it is not. And they're using like a color by numbers. So they have different numbers for each shade of gray they're gonna use. Oh, 
and the moat is still drained as well because they are still painting but they're pretty much done you can see like down here it's already painted up here it's not so they're, they're getting there not too much left oh yes tinkerbell sitting on her not so scary halloween party float that's cool so we're going through the castle and we see a bunch of people standing and like facing the direction so it seems like that's kind of the easy way to tell where characters are here. So Animal Kingdom, we listen to the music here. It looks like, look for people staring in the same direction because we think the stepsisters are up above us. So we're going to turn around in a minute. And I think they're going to be there. Yes, they are. And here's a look at the backside of the castle. So right in there is Cinderella's royal table and there is the stepsisters up on the balcony. And a look at the whole castle. Here's a look at the Fantasyland crowds. Now I haven't looked at any wait times yet, so I don't know how bad the park is. The ducks are waiting for Christmas. The ducks are waiting, but they're gonna be waiting a while because there's no meet and greets. <laughs> oh wait, okay, so they painted the new Fantasyland wall. Looks good. And I wish they did this to the whole castle. Like I like the dark brick. I don't mind the blue and the gold as much as the pink. It looks so good with white. Like we should have just done this. It looks great. But I will say, like, you never see Fantasyland this open unless it's like a ticketed party. <laughs> so capacity definitely appears to be quite low. I think we should go see what the wait time is for Mind Train. Yeah, I'm curious, because that'll probably be the longest in the park. Although I've heard Splash Mountain's had a pretty long line because of the announcement of the re-theme that's coming. Even though that's probably not going to be coming for quite some time. Oh, here's our health and safety reminders. If you can even read the screen, it's a little dark and it's very bright out today. But it's just reminding you of the new policies to wear a mask at all times, physical distance, wash your hands, cough, and uh, cover your mouth when coughing. Well, there's some wait times in Fantasyland. Peter Pan's 20, Philharmagic 10, Little Mermaid is 10, Pooh is 5, Mine Train's 30, so it's not terrible. Small World is 5, Pete's Silly Slide Sideshow is closed, and Meet Ariel is closed, all the meet and greets. Yeah, not terrible wait times considering. Like, mine train for 30 minutes is not that awful. So I really wanted to like try to stop by to get like a cup of ice water because it is beyond hot today. It is just beating down. But Gaston's Tavern's closed, so now we gotta find somewhere else. I know like the big uh, counter service locations like Cosmic Rays are open, but I guess maybe some of the smaller stuff like Gaston's Tavern is not. So hopefully that gives kind of an idea of what may or may not be open. I know some like the popcorn carts or um, the Dole Whip stand, for example, that kind of stuff's open, but not everything. And we saw that at Animal Kingdom too. They, just because there's a low capacity, they don't need every dining location open. But the My Disney Experience app also tells you what is and is not open. And Hello Tron, that's a big building. So these are new shirts that they did not have at Animal Kingdom. And they're for the opening. That's like so the, They're definitely new. So the pink one is the women's shirt. The gray one is for men, and then they have a kid's one that matches the men's shirt. They got a heart with the castle, and then Mickey with the castle. So they must have been saving these for today, which I don't know if there's anything else in the Emporium that came out today. I don't know if there's anything else new, since we didn't go in there, but we'll probably go in there at some point. But yeah, I love these. We saw like welcoming, we saw welcome back shirts at Universal as well, or not Universal, SeaWorld. I don't think Universal had any. But it's cool that Disney's doing it too. So it started raining which has cooled it down which is really great but also i want to show like it's really not too crowded in the areas that are undercover considering it started pouring and usually everyone goes running but we've been like sitting here by merchant of venus and we've been not really near anyone
shut it down for a 10 minute sanitizing procedure and they spray down every single vehicle, all the handrails and it looks like the benches as well maybe. And then they were on their hands and knees scrubbing all the railings and the moving walkway you use to get onto the ride. So it looks like throughout the day they continue to do this full ride sanitation where they shut the ride down and they have been extremely thorough. So pretty impressive. to head over to Tomorrowland when this really loud music started playing again. And this time it's the princesses on their float. So now they're coming around and Meredith's riding a horse. I forget the name of her horse. Angus? So that's fun. Pretty good job overall. I'd say it's like it was pretty much 100% compliant. Oh yeah, the masks have not been an issue. Yeah. I mean, of course you have like the occasional person that's gonna be eating or drinking. I mean, with how hot it is, you have to take a sip of water here and there. But um, I've heard that they've been like really on it, where if like they see somebody who's just like holding a cup and trying to use it as an excuse, then they'll tell you to put your mask on. So they're really making sure like you are actively drinking or eating if you take it off. Um, they don't require the sanitizer, but they have it everywhere, and all of them were full. Like, we didn't have any that were empty. I have, like, literally sanitized. Like, I've used going so into much. into a ride, after a ride, like, into a restaurant. Like, everywhere I saw a stand, I was, like, using Yeah, which, um, SeaWorld does the same where they have it, but it's not required. Universal makes you use the sanitizer, so that's, like, the one difference. Um, but we saw, it seems like they do pretty frequent, like, full sanit like sanitizing the rides here. And we saw a lot of cat members walking around with like the tank, the cleaning solution. Yeah. So I think they do that, at, uh, I think I heard like every two hours, they shut the ride down like fully sanitized. So, seems like they're doing pretty good at keeping stuff clean. We saw people cleaning tables and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, the, the, uh, as we're talking, there's a, there's a cat member who just like walked around with oh. this little planter in front of us. Just like just sprayed it down. They're like, cleaning railings I don't think all the time. anyone's gonna be touching it, but anything that could be high tra <laughs> like high touch traffic, they're they're cleaning. Yeah. Um, there's definitely restaurants and stores that are open or are closed, I should say. Um, so it's not like 100% open, but the capacity is really low, so you don't really need everything open. Um, but there were definitely more than enough choices to eat at. There were plenty of stores to go into. 
Um, we walked through the Emporium, but I didn't film anything because there's nothing new. Yeah, um, everything that you see at Roller Derby. Exactly. The one shirt that we saw earlier that was like the Welcome Back yeah. shirt is sold out already. Yeah, they did it. Like, we went back to the store to look at it, and it got replaced with, like, ponchos. Yeah, we went back to <laughs> Star Traders, um, so the same store, and it was gone. And we looked at the Emporium, and they only had the kids' shirt. Well, they had the um, women's, but they only had 3X. Right, right, right. Yeah, so they had one size left, and, and there were no, um, I didn't see the men's shirt at all. Yeah. So, I don't know if they're going to restock those or not, so if that was one you're hoping to get. I hope so. Hopefully they restocked for you, but it looks like, at least for today, they were gone. Mm -hmm. But that is it for our visit to Magic Kingdom. We will not be back to Disney for a while, just because we're only coming when we have hotel stays. So our next hotel stay is going to be Riviera, so hopefully... Um, by the time that comes, we'll be at Epcot, most likely, yeah. to see food and wine. So that's a few weeks out. Maybe Ratatouille will be open. I don't know. I haven't announced anything, <laughs> but I'm hoping it'll open soon. We'll see. Um, but definitely subscribe to our channel um, to keep an eye out for when those videos are coming. So that'll be down the road. And until then, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys the next time we go to Disney and Beyond.